I want you to know that recently I've done sketches that are this big, exactly. What is about it? Two inches by three inches. And I did a bunch of them. I was doing a sketch a day and putting them online. Just, you know, this pandemic really put everybody in a different location and mentally. And uh, I did little setups of little figures. I, I did not, the last couple of years, did not do anything until this last painting that I did called Sultana and the Butterflies. You did not see that painting. It has gone to Chicago for the show. So um, all that, that's why none of this work is current that is on the walls here now, because I decided to go into the archives and because all the new work went to Chicago, not all the new work went to Chicago, much of the new work went to Chicago. So I decided to do this. I had a lot of transitions here. Woman who worked for me for seven years uh, left and uh, I was training a new girl and um, me because you would get dependent on someone, you know, that's assisting you. And so uh, I just decided to do this large installation. Now, the painting that Sultana is about probably five by six feet or maybe a little bit bigger. So it's not as ne nearly as big as this piece. Sometimes it just calls attention to needing to do a large piece or a small piece. And my, I go kind of by, not by a, a conscious uh, intention. I think mine are more of an unconscious detention. I almost say that I follow a path and I can't sometimes explain it. Like the iPad paintings, how did I get started on that? That was a perfect example. Some of them are really tiny, you saw, and some are large. Um, I didn't have a machine to do anything that large, so I would send it to a factory to do the, that large. And then when they came back, I would paint on them. But the reason I, I got started on the iPad paintings had nothing to do with technology for me personally. It was because I didn't have a studio anymore in New York and I had a friend's apartment. I kept bringing my art supplies, hanging a few paintings there, going up and back, it got tiring. So I bought an iPad, one of the first iPads, and I said, geez, I think I may be able to sketch it. Maybe I remember it as a kid, etch a sketch, I don't know, but I, but I said, I think I may be. So I start painting on it and painting on it. And then one day I'm holding this up, the iPad, and I go to the Apple store and I said to the man, how do you delete this section? The young guy, he goes, what's that? I go, it's a painting. He goes, and then he starts swiping. What's this? What's this? And he calls over the other guys and he goes, look what this lady did. He said, I've never seen anything like this. So I said, uh, well, he said, how'd you do it? I said, with my finger and, you know, with painting with brushes, you know. He said, I said, but I don't really know technology or anything. He said, you've got to show at the Apple store. I paled. I said, I can't show at the Apple. I can't answer a question. I know absolutely nothing. So um, he said, you've got to show her. So he started calling me. You've got to come to the Apple store. This is all in Aventura here. So I said, I'm not showing an Apple store in Aventura. And I got like snotty, which is not like me. I go, I showed at the Louvre. I'm not showing an Apple store. The truth was I knew nothing. I was scared. So finally he says, I'll tell you what, we'll help you. We'll answer all the questions. You just show them what you did. So I showed there and then they called Lincoln Center. I went to Lincoln Center. I went to Venice, California. I went to Chicago. I wound up showing at Art Basel, Hong Kong through an art dealer from Chicago. And she showed one painting of mine, which did not sell, but I was thrilled to be there. And I got a show at the Apple store in Hong Kong where they treated you like a movie star here. They treat art and the collectors first and the dealers second and the artists third, especially women. I'm not, well, now it's a little better, but anyway, so, uh, uh, the uh, Low Museum gave me a show, 35 of the iPad paintings. I don't know if you saw that show. I was there. 
Yeah. I was and, at the opening. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I knew you when I saw you. It wasn't like I didn't know you. Anyway, and one of the things I did was give everybody an iPad and you could see the figures going across. And I tried to buy that app, not buy. You get that app from Apple. I sent in 96 drawings and they would not let me keep the app. I guess they weren't going to make any money on it. So then after showing it at eight Apple stores, a museum show and all that, I called, looked up, Googled Apple to see. I called a woman that was supposed to be in charge of something. It was probably a very low level person. I didn't get to anybody high. And I said, I've shown it eight Apple stores and blah, blah, blah. And I gave her the whole story. And I said, I'm not asking for money. I paid for my airfare to go to every one of those. Of course, she didn't know that I had shows with them and I sold art, you know, it was not anything I wanted to discuss. I said, but I'm asking for either airfare to go on because you want me to go to Boston or an ad that shows Sheila Elias works with Apple, which I really wanted that more than anything. She says, well, Apple doesn't do that. So I never showed it another Apple store after that. 